Hey ladies, it's Miss Last Rock coming at you from Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. And we're here to talk about the strong-willed child. Okay. So a lesson in the supermarket. This is, is from the book, uh, The New Strong-Willed Child by Do Dr. Jean Dobson. Okay. Birth through adolescence. If you're going through adolescence, I remember being a teenager and I was, I was awful. I just, I always got my way. I was a little bitch. My mom even said so in that little uh, this thing, this journal thing she kept for me. She said, this is the, the, the year of the grumpies when I was a teenager. Grumpy, right? Hormonal and grumpy. So what do we do when we have hormonal and grumpy children, right? So a lesson in the supermarket, okay? In thinking about the characteristics of compliant and defiant children, I sought, it, sought, out, sought an illustration to explain the vastly differing thrusts of human temperaments. I found an appropriate analogy in a supermarket. Imagine yourself in a grocery store pushing up a cart up the aisle. You give the basket a small shove and it glides at least nine feet out in front and then comes to a gradual stop. You walk along happily, tossing in the soup and ketchup, loaves of bread. Grocery shopping is such an easy task. For even when the cart is burdened with, with goods, it can be directed with one figure. finger. But buying groceries is not always so blissful. On other occasions, you select a cart that ominously awaits your arrival at the front of the market. When you push the stupid thing forward, it tears off to the left and knocks over a stack of bottles. Refusing to be out-muscled out by an empty cart, you throw all your weight behind the handle, fighting desperately to keep the ship on course. <laughs> oh my god, can you, I can, yeah, you know those times, right? You're like, what? Oh, fuck, I chose the one with the with the bum wheel. But you're not, you don't have time. You're not going back, right? You're not going to go back and and uh, get a new one, right? You're just going to fight it. <laughs> I've been, I don't know what you do, but desperately to keep the ship on course. Um, yeah, so it tears off and left and knocks over a stack of bottles. Refusing to be out muscle by an empty card, you throw all your weight behind the handle, fighting desperately to keep the chip on course. It seems to have a mind of its own as it darts towards the eggs and careens back in the direction of a terrified grandmother in green tennis shoes. <laughs> you are trying to do the same shopping assignment that you accomplished with ease the week before, but the job feels like more like combat duty today. You are exhausted by the time you had the circum... the contumacious... the contumacious cart toward the checkout counter. What is the difference between the two shopping baskets? Obviously, one has straight, well-oiled wheels that go where they are glided. The other has crooked, bent wheels that refuse to yield. Do you get the point? We might as well face it. Some kids have crooked wheels. They do not want to go where they are led because, they own, because their own inclinations can take them in other directions. Furthermore, the parent who is pushing the cart must expend seven times the energy to make it move compared with the parent of a child with straight level, straight wheels. Okay, Only mothers and fathers of strong-willed children will fully comprehend the meaning of this illustration, right? So what kind of systems in your life can you, as moms, do you, can you use in your life to, one, make more money and more abundance in your life, right? What, are, what, what other systems in place can you teach your children like make more money, you know, there's systems in there that they can, maybe they would, they need more of a challenge, right? So what kind of systems can we teach to, to the children to make more money? Um, maybe they're just so darn smart. They, they need, they need more stimulation. You can, you can teach them how to make money online, right? Maybe there's systems that they can learn. You can teach them and I can teach you actually, you know, that we can, um, harness their skills in, in a forward direction. I know I was a little brat, but I was bored. I did not like school. It was so freaking boring. I could not sit still, didn't want to sit still. And if I, I'd want to doodle on my, my thing or go to the bathroom for a long time so I didn't have to be in school, I did not like it, did not want to be there. So the strong-willed child, you know, can I know it's difficult, mamas and fathers. I know it's difficult, but what systems, you know, can we work together to employ in their direction to to enhance their abilities because obviously those child those children are are going to grow up to be leaders right they're adamant uh, like that squeaky wheel that that wheel that won't turn well that's that's them they they're going to go their own direction you know that right 
So moms and dads, what kind of systems do you have in place that, you know, perhaps they can, like I said, make more money in the household. Maybe they can be introduced to, 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 to different systems. I can help you with that, by the way, if you want. But um, what kind of systems, I'd really like to know what have you employed to help them grow and and um, make it, e working with them e with ease, right? Yeah, there's all these tricks that you know. So like it, like this post, uh, make a comment if you have any suggestions on how you how you handle your children. The strong-willed child, right? We can celebrate them, and we will later, but right now it's really difficult. Remember, I mean, I turned out really well. You know, I was a little brat, but I definitely was my own boss. But I also was a real good people pleaser, too. And I really love to please. I please my parents, too. It's kind of weird, but... I also didn't didn't really want to do what they said either. But um, anyway, ciao for now. I hope you have a great day. Click the link if you want more tips on the systems that we can we can teach our children and, and let's share in a circle together. Click the link if you want more. If you want to talk about this, click the link and we'll get in, into a different area where we can chat about this and learn more. Okay, not everybody gets all the videos. If you want more, then you have to click the link. And then we can get in the inbox too, right? And share more of our ideas. Ciao for now. Get on a Zoom and, and we can chitty chat about the strong-willed child. This is Miss Laugh Luck coming at you from Emden, Alberta, Canada. Click the link. Click the link. And we'll see you later.